I am Cynthia Cox, and this is the Nonprofit Minute. I want to talk to you today about differences between the different types of engagements that you get from a CPA, compiled financial statements, reviewed financial statements, and audits. But I want to talk today just about compiled financial statements. What are they? What are their benefit? Compiled financial statements are when you, the organization, bring to me, the CPA, your financial statements. I take that information and I turn it into into financial statements prepared under generally accepted accounting standards. I don't give any assurance on those financial statements. I don't test any of the balances on the financial statements, but they go in a format that is according to generally accepted accounting standards. And of course, we put the CPA name on it, which is what the bank is looking for. So that third party, if you're taking it to the bank, if you're taking it to somebody else that's wanting to see third party financial statements, they get that CPA's name. And that's where the credibility comes in, not because of the test work, but in reality because of that CPA's name. The one exception to the no testing rule is that if the CPA is aware of anything that's a problem, so they know that maybe the loan balance is incorrect, then the CPA does have to investigate that and recommend a journal entry to the organization that would need to be fixed before the financial statements were presented by the CPA. I'm Cynthia Cox from Cox and Associates and we look forward to serving you.